Hey, what's up guys? So, what I want to do today is just kind of an experiment video. I have a Sawyer Mini that I've been using for roughly a year now. I can't necessarily say the exact amount of gallons that have been through this, but what we're going to do is take this hacksaw, we're going to cut this open because I am very curious to see what the inside of this looks like after a year of use and just kind of get an idea of what the construction of the Sawyer looks like because I don't know, it's fun to do things like this and I'm probably going to be a little unimpressed by what the, the findings are, but I'm going to show you guys anyway and we're going to check it out and just see how it goes. So let's go ahead and get the hacksaw and cut this baby open. All right guys, here we go. So let's see if I can do this with uh, this camera angle, but we're gonna go ahead and just cut into this thing. I think I'm gonna be a little surprised by it. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'm not gonna be surprised at all. <laughs> I was just gonna be a bunch of white, white strings since this is like a hollow fiber filter but I kind of want to get just a, a clean cut into this. Wow, all right. So there you go. That's the initial look of what the inside of the filter looks like, but let's see if we can pull it apart a little bit. Well, Okay, so I'm like kind of actually a little surprised by the way that this looks because I've had this filter for about a year and what I'm noticing after knowing some of the water that I've been through, it's not as dirty as I kind of expected it to, to look. So that's kind of a, a big surprise for me um, because a lot of the water that I have filtered out of this came uh, from the desert. So I've taken this into the desert and it's, uh, it's filtered some pretty nasty, nasty water. Um, but I guess the back flushing that I've done with the clean water has kind of proven to, to make it um, cleaner than I kind of expected it to be. So these hollow fiber strands are pretty cool though. Um, so that's a neat, neat part of it to see how little the particles would be that um, this is capturing. But if I pull this out, so that's what the like casing looks like. And so it looks like they uh, have taken all of the the fibers and they're just longer pieces and then they fold them in half and then shove it down into the filter housing. So I'm actually going to try to put these back in. But it's interesting that the, the fold of the, uh, the fibers is down where the inlet of the, the water comes in. So I wonder what the bottom of this is going to look like if I can get these out. So it looks like these are like uh, glued into the top here because I can't really pull them out. But yeah, that's pretty cool. It's about what I expected it to be, but uh, a little surprising. But there you go. That's what the inside of the Sawyer Mini looks like. I would imagine that the Sawyer Squeeze looks very similar. But because it's a bigger filter, it's going to have a little bit higher flow rate because more water can push through it at one time. But yeah, little tiny hollow fiber strands. All right, so if you were ever curious what your Sawyer looked like and you weren't willing to destroy it, here you go. That's what the inside of the Sawyer looks like with the hollow fiber uh, filter. So yeah, pretty cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hope you have an awesome day.